Bitcoin conference is up and running, and my colleague uh, Bart Chilton is there. He's going to be recording one of his shows from there. Ben Swan, who's kind of a bit of an, uh, of an expert himself on this whole issue of cryptocurrencies uh, there as well. In fact, he's good enough to join us now live. Ben, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, first, I hope that uh, people are treating you well in my hometown. And by the way, for really good Cuban food, stay away from South Beach. Go to Hialeah or Little Havana. You got that? I'll take note of that. Thanks, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I got to ask you straight up, what, what's the mood at the conference this year, given that Bitcoin has, well, just tanked so badly? Yeah. Well, I think the mood here is, first of all, it's a smaller conference than it was a year ago, but yeah. I think the mood here is simply this. Most of the conversation is less about coins and what the markets are doing, because the, the, the real believers in this space don't necessarily put stock in what the price is doing today or tomorrow, and instead they're talking about the technology, the blockchain technology behind it, and what's actually powering cryptocurrency, rather than just being focused on the market prices, which is where most media usually talks about it. You know. People are telling me that I don't look at this the right way. They, they say that I should look at uh, cryptocurrency less as a um, opportunity for some type of uh, advancement for making more money. And instead, I should look at it as a, a future currency tool, that that's the way that we're supposed to look at this, right? Explain that to me. Yep, yep. Okay, so, so a lot of the people who got involved in crypto, who had been outside of it, they didn't know anything about it. Then last year, late last year, um, they, or in 2017 rather, uh, they heard Bitcoin's doing so well, buy some Bitcoin now. And what they were really trying to do, Rick, is they're trying to flip money, right? It was buy it at this price today and then it's gonna be much higher tomorrow and I'll make a ton of cash on it. And of course that all crashed and, and all the price has gone down. But the people who are advising you are right. Um, only partially though. They're right that you have to look at it as the future of currency and the future of money. It's money without borders. It's currency not controlled by any government. Mm. So there's a, an incredible power to it in that respect. But the other part of it is the blockchain technology that powers Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is a representation of the blockchain in the financial sector. But blockchain has applications in healthcare, in media, across across the board. It has applications in so many places, and that's the other really powerful thing about crypto that, that keeps it from disappearing, keeps it from dying, keeps it from going away. That technology is transforming the world. Is it that we just haven't... And that's why it's really important, the goal of this channel, if you are going to be investing in crypto assets, is to really understand this part. So if you are going to be a long-term holder, and especially if you're someone who bought at the all-time highs, and it's just very difficult to hold an asset that has been in a bear market now for over a year, um, it's really important to understand what they're talking about and why there's so much future applications to blockchain and cryptocurrencies. And hopefully by watching this channel and the content that I'm sharing, you'll be able to learn more and uh, hopefully see that cryptocurrencies is not just a flip, but has lots of long-term future applications. And the people that are involved, whether you're an investor or maybe you get interested and in, uh, decide to work with a company, uh, there's a lot of promise for the future. And unfortunately, there is a lot of uh, negative publicity that cryptocurrencies have uh, received. But once you begin to understand the technology, I think um, your mind will change or you'll see the opportunities in cryptocurrencies. But let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you guys soon.